Johnson. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I ask uh, unanimous consent to address the Senate as if in morning business. Without objection. Mr. President, thank you. Uh, first of all, I congratulate my colleagues, uh, Senator Leahy and Senator Luger, for this achievement uh, and thank them for their service to the country. Uh, and I also appreciate the willingness of uh, Senator uh, Collins and Senator uh, Lieberman for their willingness to allow me to speak just for a few minutes before we return to the business at hand, uh, legislation uh, regarding cybersecurity. But I wanted to point out to my colleagues uh, and perhaps to the Department of Agriculture something that I saw today that, uh, that catches my attention. And in fact, I'm, it is amazing to me this development. This is the Department of Agriculture, USDA's employee newsletter. Uh, and in that newsletter, it says the following. Uh, it has a section in the newsletter that uh, says food services update. Well, the Department of Agriculture, which in my view has a serious and significant responsibility to promote agriculture, says this in their own newsletter. One simple way to reduce your environmental impact while dining at our cafeteria is to participate in Meatless Monday. Meatless Monday, this effort, encourages people not to eat meat on Mondays. How will going meatless one day of the week help the environment? The production of meat, especially beef and dairy as well, has a large environmental impact. According to the UN, according to the UN, animal agriculture is a major source of greenhouse gases and climate change. It also wastes resources. It takes 7,000 kilograms of grain to make 1,000 kilograms of beef. In ad addition, beef production requires a lot of water, fertilizer, fossil fuels, and pesticides. In addition, there are many health concerns related to the excessive consumption of beef. Uh, let me say that differently. Related to the excessive consumption of meat. While a vegetarian diet could have a beneficial impact on a person's health and the environment, many people are not ready to make that commitment. Because Meatless Monday involves only one day a week, it's a small change that could produce big results. Our own Department of Agriculture in, again, at least from my perspective, and we ought to look at the mission of what the Department of Agriculture is, I think it will reflect what I'm saying, is to promote agriculture, to help those who uh, every day go to work to produce food, fiber, and fuel for this country and the world. And yet our own Department of Agriculture is encouraging people not to eat meat, uh, and indicates that these statements, uh, again, from their newsletter, uh, the USDA headquarters food operations are a high-profile opportunity to demonstrate USDA's commitment to USDA's missions and initiatives. So I wouldn't surprise me that what uh, you see the Department of Agriculture somehow lose this newsletter, uh, but it's posted on their website. And I just would encourage uh, Secretary Vilsack and the officials at the Department of Agriculture to rethink their role in discouraging something that is so vital to the U.S. economy and something so important to the Kansas economy. We are a beef producing state and generate significant revenue for Kansas farmers and ranchers and is one of the items that improves our balance of trade as we export meat and beef around the world. And yet our own Department of Agriculture encourages people not to consume meat. Mr. President, uh, I think I'll have more to say about this topic, uh, but for the moment, uh, in light of the kindness that was extended to me by the senators, uh, I would uh, yield the floor. Mr. President. Senator